My name is Edgar Aguilar, and I am the owner of Legacy Construction Cleaning, where we specialize in cleaning commercial offices and post-construction cleaning. What that means is when a builder or homeowner has done either remodeling or a custom build home, or something has just been done to their project, we will go in there and clean up the spot top to bottom. Meaning we'll go into every drawer, cabinets, and clean the sawdust, and make it be presentable for the homeowner and make it livable for them. Where it goes from a construction zone to a home that they could just be ready to be moved in. Nice, nice. So where was your LinkedIn profile before we started working together? How was your LinkedIn lead generation game? What was happening? Before we started working together, I, I would say that my LinkedIn was, was pretty obsolete. I had just created a pretty basic LinkedIn profile and pretty much put a, a very basic description about what we did. Um, so it wasn't much of, a, of, of anything at that point. I'm, I might have had, if, I, if I'm lucky, maybe 90, under 100 connects <laughs> Um, at the most, I had about a hundred connects or connections through LinkedIn. After we met and after you started helping me out, my, my whole profile got updated, banner got updated, and you started making the right connections with the appropriate people for me to grow my network. I went from having 90 connections to about four or five hundred once you stopped working with me and we went from 500 to almost a thousand that I have now now that's not to say that I didn't do some of the work so what you ended up doing is you opened up the pathway in order for me to continue getting lead generation Meaning you got the right people under my umbrella, the first couple hundred people, then it was up to me to go and look for more people. So on LinkedIn, you could find the people that you're interested in. So in my case, it's all the project managers, superintendents, CEOs of construction companies, um, project estimators, Anybody dealing with a lot of construction in that realm, you got me the first couple hundred, then it was up to me to go and research and add more contacts. After your training and after you showed me how to do it, it was a lot easier for me to go and find the right people for me to, to target and to get under my umbrella. And now, almost a thousand people under my network it's a lot easier for everybody all the superintendents project managers the people that I'm after for as customers to look at my projects to look at my work that I've been doing and to really showcase all the work that we have done and because of that and the posts that I've been doing and again a lot of it it's my work so it's not all your work you were there to get the ball rolling get the momentum going yeah. then it was up to me to really get that ball and roll with it because if not then I could just sit there with a few hundred with the with a few hundred connections at that point and just be happy with it well I'm not happy with a few hundred I want a couple thousand or a few thousand so at, at that point it's up to me to get the baton and just keep running with it mm -hmm. and that is by going and looking for more project estimators more project managers and just asking for them to connect with me after about eight nine hundred I started getting a lot of likes from superintendents and project managers and a project manager reached out to me and said hey I've been looking at your post that you're putting on LinkedIn are you interested in in connecting and maybe doing a project for us. Wait, who, wh where was the project manager from? The project manager was from Zillow Group. 
and Zillow is moving into the Denver market area from Phoenix and from Atlanta where they're already doing a lot of business and Denver is their new market so he saw my profile he saw my pictures and once you start connecting with one superintendent he knows 10 other superintendents so everybody starts seeing our projects and luckily the Zillow project manager superintendent saw my pictures asked for a meeting at, at one of the job sites we hooked up and next thing you know he's given me a couple projects for us to work on and get cleaned off to the point that he even left a review um, on one of our posts saying what a great job we had done so not only did that project pay for everything that John has helped me it paid for his service already but now going further any other jobs that we get or that we generate from LinkedIn is just a win it's just it's all it's all a gain at that point nice now you were saying that they said the Zillow deal was bigger than you thought it was how much how many jobs did you say they, they want potentially since they're just moving into the Denver market right now they're doing just a few jobs all over Denver and the potential is something like what they're doing in the Phoenix and Atlanta market which is 60 to 100 homes per month Wow! so if if we get the chance to do 60 to 100 homes a month later down this year the top line of our business will go up significantly because of that what would that look like would that be like a five figure six figure potential deal what would that look like it would definitely be a six fig a six figure top line revenue growth nice nice so without john's help my linkedin profile would look <laughs> like a like an elementary school student did it i would have nothing really to offer now i feel that it's a professional looking resume where I could go and advertise it to different superintendent, project managers, CEOs of construction companies, and it makes me look really professional. And I see a lot of potential growth in that space. And you got a six-figure deal out of it. Sounds nice. Hey, thank you, Edgar. <laughs>